try the audience or phone someone you like. <laughs> I think we'll end this splendid audience. See if I can... Oh! oh, 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 oh. This will be a test. Yeah. Wow. They are, in theory, our finest over 100 shows. They should have no problem with this at all. Uh, audience, all on your keypads, please. I think you rather know this routine by now. Let's try and get Peter up to £125,000, please. Peter, you don't have to take their answer. Let's see what we get. It's worth £125,000. All on your keypads, please. A, B, C or D. All vote now. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. We were really rather expecting a sort of 99% from these. 34, say Edward the first, 48, Edward the second, nine Mary Queen of Scots, nine George the third. When you said you had an inkling, well, I thought it was, well, I was sure it's one of the Edwards, but um, <laughs> I'm still sure it's one of the Edwards. It looks like it but, might be uh, one of the Edwards. Um, but, uh, I, I, you don't have to play this question, but you have got to phone a friend. I'm more inclined to think it's Edward the first than the second. 34% of them agree with you, 48% think you're wrong. But they're a funny so, bunch. So I think we might ring... Well, <coughs> one of my phone of friends is Scottish. I don't know if he's more likely to know or trying to have forgotten which one that is. I think I might ring another one. I think uh, I'll phone Ralph. Ralph? Ralph. Is he the Scottish one? No. Okay. English one? He's an English one. Yeah. Okay. Where's he? In Crawley. Okay. Ask him the question, tell him the full possibility. He's got 30 seconds. It's worth £125,000. You don't have to take his answer. Hello? Ralph? Yes? Hello, it's Chris Tarrant here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Good evening. Uh, good evening to you. Good evening to you. Uh, I've got Peter Dauncey here. Yeah. He's doing very well. He's on £64,000 at the moment. Excellent. Excellent, but with your help, Ralph, we can get him up to £125,000. Serious amount of money. Yep. OK, next voice you hear will be Peter's. He'll tell you the question. There are four possible answers. One of those is worth 125000 OK. Good luck, Ralph. Peter, your time starts now. Thanks. Hi, Ralph. Hi, Peter. Who was known as the Hammer of the Scots? Was it Edward I or Edward II or possibly Mary, Queen of Scots or George III? But I think it was Edward I or Edward II. The Hammer of the Scots. Uh, I'm pretty certain it was Edward I. That's what I thought. Would you like to put a percentage on it? Uh, 90 odd. Yes. Even higher. Almost certain. Good man. OK, Peter, good luck. Thanks very much. Cheers. Yeah. You don't have to play it, it's up to you. If he's right, 48% of this audience know nothing. 34% <laughs> say Edward the first. Uh, so. Ralph said Edward the first. 48% say Edward the second. It's your call. You don't have to play this. If you're wrong, you lose 32,000. You've got 64. Yeah. Ralph and I go a long way back, and um, if we both agree on something, I think it's, it's going to be right, so I'm going to play Edward the first. Final answer. Yep. Want to go to Orange? Yep. You got £64,000, really and truly there are only two in there, Edward the first or Edward the second. One of those is worth £125,000. You went against the majority of this audience, you were right to do so. You've won £125,000. <laughs> You've got £125,000. Peter, have a look at that. Whatever happens, it's nice, isn't it? Very nice. Very, very nice. You've got no lifelines, but you're three away from one million. See what comes out. Have a look at question number 13. It's worth a quarter of a million. Several people in this audience tonight have gone away from here with £250,000. One's gone away with double that. Have a look at question number 13 of 15. It's worth £250,000. In which US state is the city of Chattanooga, Florida, Montana, Washington, Tennessee. Mm. Why are you grinning at me? <clears throat> well, 
grinning. <laughs> Mysterious. Take your so, time, take as long as you need. You've got 125,000 pounds. I'm pretty sure it's not Florida, Montana, or Washington. <laughs> that looks like Tennessee, then. Mm. <clears throat> but I, I wouldn't have um, been able to name which state it's in. So, so. It's up to you. It's worth two hundred and fifty thousand pounds. One hundred and twenty-five will do very nicely. I can't force it. I won't force it. No. No, I'll take the money. Final answer. Final answer. Take the money. Big sigh of relief all round here. Oh! <laughs> Peter Dolce goes away with this check for £125,000. You can take that, Peter. That's now yours. Give him a big hand. £125,000. <laughs> I have the £32,000 back. I can tell you, because I know you're dying to know. I can tell you. If you had, and you very nearly did, gone with your gut instinct of Tennessee, you would not be sitting there now with £125,000 in your hand. You'd be sitting there with £250,000. It was the right answer. I have to say, at this level, I think if you'd been wrong, you'd have lost £93,000. He goes away, Peter Dawson, with £125,000. Well done, Peter. Stop <laughs> Right, here we go. Fastest finger first, whoever puts the four answers in the correct order. In the fastest time tonight is next to play for a possible one million pounds. Here comes the question. Starting with the earliest, put these actresses in the order they were born. Emma Thompson, Margaret Rutherford, Judy Dench, Nell Gwynn. Starting with the earliest, then the right answer. First and foremost, Nell Gwynn, I remember her so well, mid 17th century. Margaret Rutherford, then, uh, originally born 1892, she was born, uh, stayed alive a long time. Judy Dench, 1934, she was born, and most recent, Emma Thompson, 1959. That's when they were born, that's the right answer. All these got it right. Let's find out who got it right then. Who was fastest? These were right. Who was fastest? John Sonino in 5.42 seconds. John, what up? Ready for this? No. It is it's the moment you've been dying for, for wouldn't you? Yeah. Want to play? You have to play. For £100 is the first question of a possible 15. Complete this well known phrase the world is your lobster. <laughs> the world is your badger. Oyster or periwinkle? It's oyster. Not badger. Uh, I don't think it's badger. It's final answer. It's good. You've got £100. <laughs> You've got £100. Have a look at question number two. Worth 200 quid. Here it comes. How many feet are there in a yard? Three, six, nine, twelve. Yeah. Watch out for figures. <laughs> there are three feet in there. It's all right, I've got 200 quid. <laughs> <laughs> so far, so good. Have a look at question number three. It's worth £300. Which of these is the most often used name for a reckless driver? Roadhog, street boar, motorway piglet, <laughs> highway swine. It's Roadhog, Chris. Roadhog's the right answer. Question. 
There are all sorts of others, <laughs> none of which appeared on the screen. Right, you got 300 quid. Have a look at question number four. It's worth 500 pounds. You're 12 away from a million. Take your time, here it comes. Complete the title of the Julie Andrews film musical, thoroughly modern, Jilly, Billy, Tilly, Millie. It's Millie, Chris. Right, Alice, you got 500 quid. No problem so far at all. You got five hundred pounds. You're one away from the first big milestone where everybody breathes a big sigh of relief for one thousand pounds. Have a look at question number five, John. Give me the right answer. Which of these was an ITV children's magazine program? Macaw, Magpie, Mallard, Moorhead. It's Magpie. Magpie is the right answer. No problem. One thousand. Well done, John. Question number six, you might as well play this whatever, you can't lose on this one, it's worth 2,000. John, here it comes. Who is primate of all England? Lord Mayor of London, Queen Elizabeth II, Archbishop of Canterbury, Prime Minister. It's worth 2,000 pounds. Can I use a 50-50? You can. Computer, take away two wrong answers. Please leave John the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Primate of all England, Queen Elizabeth II or Archbishop of Canterbury, it's worth £2,000 to you. I think it's the Archbishop of Canterbury, so I will go with the Archbishop of, of Canterbury. That's a good reason to go with the Archbishop of Canterbury. Yeah. Final answer? Yeah. Confident? No. <laughs> you should be, you just won £2,000. <laughs> No problem at all, you've got £2,000. Have a look at question number seven. It's worth £4,000. Here it comes. Who had a number one hit single with Baby One More Time? Marty McCutcheon, Christina Aguilera, Macy Gray, Britney Spears. Every kid in the country, and most of your kids, will be screaming the answer at the yeah. television. <laughs> Britney Spears. Final answer. Final answer. Your kids will be very pleased with Daddy. It's the right answer. You've got £4,000. <laughs> sure it's a big relief thing, brother. <laughs> How are you feeling now? A bit better. Karma? Yeah. It's always a good bit when you get to £1,000, that's guaranteed. Yeah. I didn't want to embarrass myself and get, like, £200 wrong. You haven't. That. You haven't. People, people dread all that. You haven't. You've got two lifelines left. Let's have a look, John. Question number eight for £8,000. Here it is. Which country donates the Trafalgar Square Christmas tree each year? Norway. Germany, France, Finland. It's Norway, Chris. How do you know? Uh, every year, the King of Norway donates a tree for thanks during the Second World War. Final answer? It is my final answer. It's very good. It's the, exactly the right answer. You've got £8,000. <laughs> right, you've got 8000 You're... In good shape. You're two away from the next big milestone of £32,000. Have a look. You're seven away from a million. According to the Bible, the walls of which city came down at the sound of trumpets? Bethlehem, Jericho, Nineveh, Babylon. I've got a feeling it's Jericho, so I'll go with Jericho. It's up to you? Yeah. Can you use a lifeline? It's up to you? No, I'll go with Jericho. Are you a very religious person? Not at all. Ah. Final answer. Maybe I should be. Final answer. Yes. Walter Jericho is the right answer. You've got £16,000. <laughs> From the book of Joshua. Uh, have a look at question number 10. Serious milestone. You've got £16,000. You've still got two lifelines. You would lose £15,000 if you gave me a wrong answer. You don't have to play this question. A lot of people have played this question and dropped 15000 Have a look at it. It's worth £32,000. Here it comes. Which river runs along the border of the USA and Mexico? Missouri. Potomac. Rio Grande. St Lawrence. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to say the Rio Grande. Why are you saying that? Because it's not the Potomac, it's not the Missouri, 
and I'm not sure, I don't think it's the St. Lawrence. So I'll go with Rio Grande. If you tend to play, it's up to you. I'll go for it. Are you a fabulously wealthy man? No. Are you skint? Yes. <laughs> final answer. That's my final answer. You're not as skint as you were, you're worth £32,000. <laughs> Right, have a look at this. You'll like this. You'll like this ever such a lot. It's worth £32,000 to you at this moment. John, whatever happens, you go home with that amount of money. Right. Can I ask what that means to you and your family? Thirty-two grand, a lot of money. It just changed our life completely, really. Have a look at question number 11. You're five away from £1 million. It's worth £64,000 to you. You might as well play it. Have a look. <laughs> 